Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we implemented Google Maps on a web page. Now, uh, in this tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to create Google Map marker. So, this basically what we are going to do is uh, is create marker on a on a map that we have already implemented. Now, just um, just explaining the code. Um, here we have. A div which is called map canvas which is having a width of 300 pixel and a height of 300 pixel and here this script is initialized um, the function is called initialize and this script is low is called on the load of this um, document or uh, on load it's called as an on load function so when uh, the function is initialized it will call google maps and um, these are the parameters passed um, and then we have a map which is a uh, kind of road map and uh, the center is um, pointing toward this particular latitude lat long this particular variable which is lat long and uh, the latitude and longitude is given as minus 34.397 and 150.644 and if you run this particular code what we have is a small map this is what we get now uh, what we're going to do now is create a marker on this particular map it's kind of really simple um, the, the thing that we have to do is first create a, a variable which is uh, something like a point uh, we'll create we'll give the name as point and then we give uh, the latitude and longitude so the way we give that is new google dot maps dot lat long lat long lat long l n g and then we specify the latitude we'll give the default la latitude that is this one itself and then we want to create a marker so variable marker equals then again new google dot maps dot marker and then we give the parameters okay now google ma map marker has a large number of parameters depending upon what parameters we give uh, with the marker get customized so we'll give we'll go for the minimum one that is um, the first one is uh, position okay position simply um, tells the point or the position of the marker so we are going to give the position as this point which is uh, this particular latitude and longitude the next point, the next thing that we want to give us the object, the object where we want to specify the marker. So we have created a map object, which is this. We have created the map over here. So the object that ha have the map is this particular thing. So map is map. Okay. Now the next thing. No, now suppose if I had created something like uh, first map over here then the object becomes this thing okay I hope that's clear now the next thing is um, yeah that's it uh, now we'll just uh, refresh the page and run the code we'll see what's happening okay we have an error which says google ma map dot marker is not a constructor so google maps dot marker marker is i have a spelling mistake over here okay now i refresh the page yes i do have a marker over here so basically what we have done is we have implemented a marker over here now we want to give a title for this marker and we want to make this marker draggable so how do we do that we give the next parameter which is title and then we give it as hello so refresh the page and I have the marker over there and when I mouse over it I have that um, title coming up which is hello now the next thing is that I I want to I want to make this marker draggable that is I, ca I, I should be able to move this uh, marker now right now if I move the marker at if, I, if I try to move the marker the whole map is moving so I'll just make this marker alone as draggable so we give one more property which is draggable which is uh, given as true okay by default draggable is taken as false 
so now when I now if you see I can drag the pointer to any point I want now if you look at other maps um, you know some most probably you might not be seeing this particular image uh, if you want to change this image and give a default give your own image then you can do that um, over here I've downloaded an image which is uh, 552836.png or I'll rename this as flag.png and then I want this particular image to be rendered on the map so what I do is I give one more parameter which is uh, uh, which is called image icon okay I give icon and then I simply give the path to that particular um, image that is flag.png I copy this and then I open notepad and then copy it over here and refresh the page now I go to uh, Firefox and then refresh it I have this particular fly coming up so I've customized uh, the f icon which which is uh, on the map this seems to be an ugly flag but then if you want you can give a better flag so that's it um, next part um, of the tutorial will be trying to give some information um, on the flag when you click on this flag um, you have an info window uh, or, or a box popping up and giving some information of about that particular point so that's called info window so yeah thank you for the watching this tutorial have a great day thank you